Welcome students, this is your senpai, Supreme Thunder. And today we're going to talk about how to put on a wig using a wig cap. Let's start by taking a look at very basic wig construction. So we have a wig here. If you turn it inside out, you can see where the sideburns and the front and the back are. So here's the front of our wig with a nice full hairline. And then on the sides, we've got these two swoopy bits that go in front of your ears. In the very back, there's usually a nice patch to cover the back of your hair. And sometimes there's even adjustable straps to make sure that your wig is snug. If your wig is too big, you can always snug it in just like that. You will need a wig cap, a hairbrush, uh, styling items like gel or hairspray, and also some bobby pins to get started. If you're using a wig cap with no hole at the top, it's a little more difficult to put up your hair and use styling products to make it stay that way. But basically, Put the cap over your own hair and try to smooth as much of your sideburns and back neck hair into it as possible. I find this very challenging with a wig cap when it has no hole on top. Far superior, using a wig cap that already has a hole on the top. This one's a little different. You put it over your entire head and that gives you a chance to catch all those little hairs on the back of your neck and your sideburns as you pull it up over your face. I find this so much easier to deal with than a cap that I have to push all of my hair up into. At this point, you can use some gel or hairspray to keep your sideburns in place. Once your hair is in the cap, if you have shorter hair, you can just pin your wig cap closed. Having all of your hair off your face like this is a great opportunity to do your makeup. Also, if you have a light wig and you have dark sideburns, you can use a concealer stick to minimize the appearance of sideburns. And remember to blend. Blending is the secret. Now it's time to put your wig on. Practice makes perfect, so do this several times until you feel comfortable with it. I usually like to start by putting the front of the wig onto my hairline and then tucking the back. Once you have the wig on your head, Try to find the sideburns and line them up with your own. Thanks to the wig cap, all of my hair is secured underneath the wig and no one should be able to tell what my natural hair color is. The right kind of wig can really make a cosplay shine, but if you don't have a wig cap, you're going to see your hairline at the front your wig may move around more easily and you're going to have hair sticking out of the back of your neck. So I really recommend one for any cosplayer. It's easy to do, just keep practicing and you'll get it right. Thanks for joining me today and as always, do your best.